Oh, this is Mr. Rosa. I hope all is well. I hope everybody's staying safe. Today we'll be talking about alcohol. Uh, alcoholics. Um, what does that mean? Well, alcoholic. There's different types. Um, today we'll be hitting points as far as when you drink so much that you don't even know who you are sometimes. You're just so numb. You don't know what's going on around you. And what does that lead to? Um, some of us have had family members. Some of us have been through that. Um, you know, friends that, you know, drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and... Drink and Sooner or later, that's all they rely on. That's all they care about. Um, how can we just help? How can we think and what to do to get away from that? Uh, sometimes it deals with depression. Sometimes it deals with uh, nobody wanting us, always being alone. Um, it, it's so many things that come with that. Um, some of us just like it so much. It tastes great, you know, and it, it's just like drinking, uh, Kool-Aid. It's like <laughs> drinking, you know, uh, you know, juice or something that it's just, we can't, you know, once, once we catch up to it, it's like, uh oh, then the, you know, there's, it's different for everybody. You have people disrespecting each other, you know, calling names, um, not caring about life, period. I mean, it, it can lead up to, to so many things. How can we avoid situations like that is a question. You know, have one bear, two bears, hey, no problem. We have to know how we control ourselves. How how much of an intake can we take? You know, how, how, how do we, you know, how much can we get in before something weird happens in our bodies and our minds? Um, so, for example, usually when we drink, we're drinking with, you know, our friends, relatives. Some of us, we get so carried away with it that it feels good. You know, you're feeling right. Everything's good. All of a sudden, it's like, we don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> um, those lead to things that are not good. Um. Even if we don't drink, what about if our next door neighbor or, you know, we get along with them, uh, sister, brother, friend, you know, they're not, they don't know how to drink. They don't know how to control themselves, their emotions, things that lead up to arguments, lead, things that lead up to fights, things that lead up to not caring about anything, losing everything they work hard for, um, how can we do how can we help maybe suggestion you know maybe one or two suggesting not to buy so many drinks at a party um once it's over it's over uh, there's a lot there's a lot and there's a lot of us that we lose that person because they feel like we're coming against them there's a lot because, you know, they feel like we don't appreciate them or anything like that of that source. So how do we deal with that? How do we combat with, you know, them not getting offended, them understanding where we're coming from, or even ourselves sometimes, you know? Sometimes that's just self-medicating. You know, sometimes we're just in depressed, uh, sad. We went through a trauma. We went through something that just won't let us get out of that. You know, we look forward to that six pack, that 12 pack, that keg, you know, all that fun stuff. And really, it's not fun, but um, it, it's how do we overcome? We'll stay in touch. We'll find an answer with that soon. Have a good day.